morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who is listening to my podcast. Welcome to JB Heritage Podcast. This is my second episode and I'm very happy uh, to do this. So remember guys, uh, always to listen to my podcast and follow me up uh, on SoundCloud, Pia Palekonya, Spotify. You can follow me and listen to my podcasts. Uh, today, I'm very happy. Another new topic I'm going to discuss and uh, this is about... Uh, life after being at work or life after work. Yani after umetoka job or maybe after umefutwa kazi, after umacha job, what is, how, how how are you going to control or how are you going to take your life ama maisha ako itaendaje after kutoka job. And this uh, topic I'm discussing it uh, from uh, my own experience and uh, one I can say is you just have to be strong First, come away him say uko strong and you want to leave your job, then you have to think fast. Think twice, think thrice, think fast before you leave your job and f- and think what are you going to do outside there after umeacha job yako. But if umeachishwa job, how strong are you kukua in the outside world? Eh, this other world and ye mahasla wako, you know in Kenya tuko mahasla ni wengi sana kushinda those people nyo are employed. So remember after much issue a job I'm after much a job what are you going to do in the outside world and for me speaking from experience uh, number one is you just have to be strong as I've said be strong know what you're going to do outside there after you've uh, you've left your job after you've been sacked after you've been fired that is uh, for me I left my job like a month ago a uh, reason being I was be- I was not being paid uh, for like two or three months and uh, I didn't know what was the reason behind that my boss never talked to me I never knew what what was the reason why I was not being paid for the three or two months so I decided to leave my job and just do my things and first I can say I found it ilikuwa easy because you know time nilikuwa job actually I was not able to do my own projects like for example this podcast I was to go at work maybe by 8 I was to be in work and I used to leave uh, work at around 9 9 p.m. that is usiku so you find that I was not able to come and do something in the house for example this podcast or do some of my shoots outside there uh, some of the music shoots I just used to schedule myself on Sunday so that means I was not able to go to church, you see. So, but the moment I left uh, work, I was able to do uh, these projects of mine in a easy way. Just schedule myself. I say tomorrow morning I'm going to do this and uh, this and this by the end of the day, and at least I get something. Actually, while I was at work, I was not getting so much in a day. Even though I was doing the hustle well, I used to try to make some sales, but. After I left the job, I found out that there is money outside here. That's what I feel personally. And in my field of field of work, you know, like journalism, for me, I found that pesa iko kuinje. Because ever since I left the job, uh, a week or yeah, a week or some days does not go through. Ama yezi isha kama sijapata something uh, in my pocket, something that I can feed myself, I can save, and I can also uh, save it for maybe to pay my rents, to pay my bills, and everything in the house just to keep me still living in town. Uh, another thing, when you decide to leave your job or you are sacked or you are fired, you need to just come and do what you love. Or if you are ready to find another job outside there, then you are lucky. But there's one thing I've always discussed and still I've discussed with a friend. Okay, this friend of mine, uh, she's in UK and we always discuss. She once called me uh, on a Sunday, I can remember, and we discussed something a long, very long in uh, in the call and uh, she was like yeah yeah anashanga how kenyans we are going to tutakuja kuchanuka lini cause she says uh, abroad pale wase wafanyi job moja you see like in a day someone does at least three or two jobs and that job is paying you well because you can find one doing uh, three jobs one let's say if it's a family person one ni aku feed familia the second job ni akulipa maybe uh, school fees ya watoto and the third job is maybe for maybe fueling the car or just keeping them in the family wakue well yana wasikose you see so that means uh, she said uh, she feels that Kenya we need to change that uh, notion of being of, of saying uh, i'm just waiting to be employed i'm going to school to learn and be employed no easy kazi ni sisi wenyewe ku create we don't have to maybe unatoka reserve or something like that you come to town so that you can be employed you know so uh, she discussed that with me 
through the phone and I felt like that is very true. We don't need to be like depending on the jobs that we are being employed. We should start creating our own jobs so that we can help those other people who are upcoming, you know, our siblings. We just tell them, you go to school. But going to school does not mean ukitoka shule unakuja kuandikwa kazi. You see, as I talked in my past episode, my first episode, squeezy Kenya, we don't uh, we don't use our papers. That's uh, to me, I feel like our papers do not help us. You see, easy nye tunenda shule is just to keep records that I took a career, nikafanya, and that and this is the uh, this is what I got. But money talks. Squeezy person do inaongea. And without that money, it means that out and equa job. You see, and you find that ukiandikwa a job, let's say uh umandikwa job and you are being paid fifteen thousand in a month. You see, and I feel like uh say the lowest paid person uh nafanya kazi poor, let's say in our office easily po fifteen thousand or let's say ten thousand in a month. So, take an example. Say the way the budget ya Kenya iko hiked, everything is very expensive. So imagine this situation. Uko job, you have to pay your rent at the end of the month. Uh, you have to pay your bills. Let's say steam maji and things like that. You have to purchase your um, uh, basic stuff za nyumba. You have to keep yourself well and you're being paid 10,000. Na apu katika tia mwezi, Maybe you've taken a loan from maybe a bank from these apps that you to pay uh, loans. So at the end of that month, you're paying your ten thousand yako. You're paying a house. Let's say if you are living, uh, for example, me living in Eldoret, I pay a rent of five thousand. In ten thousand, already in my back in a five thousand, I have to pay my bills like maji. Let's say maji, I pay six hundred bob. You see, you just do simple maths. Um, back in a forty-four hundred. In that forty-four hundred, you have to purchase some stuff as a nyumba. Unaika kama uh, twenty-two hundred or something. Or let's say two thousand. Um, back in a twenty-four hundred, if I'm not wrong. After that, you have to pay your uh, madeni. So you'll find out that your pesa utakuwa mefanya anything and you make idea. Yes, you make You may rent, you may bills, you may know something in the house, but you have not saved something for the future. You know, squeezy. The only way to to survive, personally, I think, is saving. You need to save some good money so that your future in a kuwa bright or in a kuja kuwa poor. So you find your ten thousand I takes idea at the end of the month. So that's why I'm saying time ume kuwa fire, damu ume kuwa sack, damu ume acha job yako. Are you strong enough to be outside here, kutafta do, whatever, or uh, however vile unatafta do yako, you know, people wanafanya only jobs, people are doing uh, hustle pale inje msa yanaenda anatandika vitu inje na anaziuza. Are you ready for that? Lakini if you are not ready then I don't think you should leave your job. Except kama utakuwa umeachishwa job, that means that you have to be ready. You have to be very ready to come and uh, tackle these uh, hardships up inje and it's not easy. I can say that it's not easy just for you to be strong and uh, always uh, persevere. So that is number 1. You have to be strong. Number 2, uh, you have to have great ideas. Once we talk a job, ata before we talk a job. You know, it's good for you, ata kama unafanya mtu mungine, biashara, or unafanya kazi, you have to think like, I also have to start my own business. Ninini na itaji kufanya. You see, like, you have to save. Kwa yo pesa kidogo unapata, try and save. So that by the time you, you feel, unajue yo job auta kwa pale permanent. So by the time you are, uh, you are fired, ama unajitoa kwa job, you know that I have some uh, money, I can do this with it, so let me start a business. You see, uh, so when, when you are outside here, just start a business or start doing something creative and uh, sell it out there. You see, for me, I'm doing some things online. Uh, I don't have to leave my home. I don't have to leave my house. Just doing it online and I get some money. So that is a very good uh, way to survive up in jail. Number three, uh, as I'd said, your job, you find that you don't have time to find some other things that you you can do. As for me, nilikwambia. uh before I left my job, I was not able to do my shoots or do my projects like this podcast because of time or both as you You just leave the, you leave work and go do your thing. So I, I had to uh, schedule my projects to Sundays on on Sundays because I was there till the weekend Saturday. So Sunday was the only day I could relax, but I was not relaxing because I was going for my uh, my projects shoots. So that means I was not uh, able to relax. So what you need to do? Just persevere, as I've said. I think uh, actually I had not written some points down, but these are coming from my uh, experience. I had, as I had told you, Nikianza, you just have to be strong. Just have to pray. Kwanza prayers ndio kitu ya kwanza. Remember God in everything. Just put God 
in front ujitume and be disciplined to yourself in discipline i mean at this i can put as point number three be disciplined in the things that you do discipline up in a manisha the little you get you know uh, kenyans or youths let me say youths to make one island notion yeah the little we get to na to na to the fullest hadi ishe so you find that in a day unapata thao or let's say 1500 or let's say even 700 and in that 700 you just have you just want to go and consume it with your friends just want to consume in some other things you find out that how you are not growing in what you are doing for example me if i get a 1500 uh, shillings maybe in a day i have to save something and i have to use kidogo because i don't have as uh, like says ishi to evolve without uh, maybe have having something in the house providing for uh, someone i live with you see so you just have to budget yourself you have to be disciplined in the way you use your money just uh, be disciplined and uh, know how to use your money you can save uh, kidogo and you will find out that in the in future you utapata inakusaidia sana just to you know many people say wameachishwa job many people wameacha job because of this corona thing the pandemic ilikuja ika to hit sana and uh, we found out that pesa imepotea so we find companies ilivuta wase wengi sana so the purpose ya ku record this podcast just to maybe or to help uh, my fellow uh, hustlers i can say <laughs> to be strong just listen to this podcast be strong remember that always put god in everything and trust in him and remember to do what you love you know usway be your time when you are doing something like this i'm doing a podcast then you find your friends or someone just telling you is that thing giving you money really you know if it's your talent remember that talents uai lipi kwa haraka vile unafikiria no it doesn't just keep pushing doing it and if you want to do it why are you still thinking about it just start now start doing what you love start doing what you feel it will come and uh, help you in future you know na ukiendelea kufanya hustles zako so that you can have two things that inakusaidia let's live kama wale wasonyo wako maju we don't have to depend in one thing for me i can say sir he i'm not ready being uh, to be employed again you see because I've, i've already seen how life is up inje for this one month and you need a job i see how uh, people wanafanya hapa nje how easy kama umejipanga you can get the money up nje you see so i don't have to go outside there uh, na kutafuta job tena with my papers uh, knocking at the doors unaenda interview someone and pay clear information no i'm tired for that cause i've gone for one interview ever since i left my job and it is a tv station around in uh, loret i cannot mention but i went for the interview i did the interview well i presented something to them and they gave me an assignment the second day for assessment i waited for their call until i texted one of the, uh, the panel leader and he was like i will call you i was to be there today today i'm recording this podcast but he texted me the, the night before today and tell me and told me that uh, he's not going to be around for two days so until next week but i'm not ready for that i just uh, like i feel like no i'm i'm not into that anymore watch any fanya my things that i feel it's going to give me something so if you're same as me or maybe you're thinking to leave your job remember think fast before you take that action remember you have to know ni nini unakuja kufanya huko nje don't just leave the uh, the job na kuja kuumia huko nje you know people are really suffering and struggling si rahisi and i can tell you that for free uh, so if you have all you are fired kama uko hapo nje you're just like wondering what are you going to do remember be strong uh, keep praying to god keep trusting in him and life itakuwa easy sana just remember to put god first and do what you love this has been jb heritage and i thank you so much for listening to this podcast and uh, remember this is my second episode just share follow me pale kwenye spotify kwenye soundcloud uh, and listen to my podcast you can also download it uh, in spreaker i'll be linking my links there so that you can download and listen later or or keep listening to it more and more thank you to all who have listened to this uh, or listening to this podcast thank you to my friend abroad that she keeps calling me and telling me how life is how she keeps encouraging me thank you so much This has been JB Heritage podcast. Thank you so much.